Hello guys, welcome to Criminology Chronicles, where we talk about all things true crime. This is Helena, I'm going to be your host, and we have the special guest, Caitlin, on here with us. Um, so I know I literally just said it's a true crime podcast, but we're not doing true crime today because we're answering some get to know me questions. So you know a little bit about us. Oh no. I'm afraid you have hair. I'm falling apart. <laughs> um, okay, got it. So we normally will be covering movies and or true crime stories. Mm -hmm. But today, we're going to let the people in on all of our secrets about our personal life and answering deep questions. So, do you want, I'm going to ask you about your birthday, how old you are. Okay, when, okay. When is your birthday? My birthday is February 14th. I'm a Valentine's baby. I'm 18, by the way. My birthday is October 18th, and I'm about to be 21. She's about to be the big 2-1. Mm -hmm. Let's party up in here. <laughs> okay, you ready? Here we go. It's deep questions. Deep questions. What's your favorite quality about you? Gosh, there's so many. No, I'm just kidding. Um, that's kind of hard because there's very few that I actually like. Um, Understandable. Yeah. I would say I like my determination. When I get something in my mm -hmm. head, I make sure that I get it done. And I see that. I agree with you yeah. on that one. Yeah. What Pretty about yourself? Oh. I don't know. Oh. It, it's hard to pick. I think a quality. Mm. No. Girl. Probably. My best quality, I think I'm very loyal. Like yes. I stay, I try to stay very loyal. Yeah. To friends and family. So I, yeah, would, I, I would say loyal. What's your least favorite? Probably how dramatic I am because <laughs> it literally drives everyone crazy, including myself. But if so, like, I. I'm always, like, I overreact to stuff that's not necessary, but then, like, somebody can, like, fall and like, break their leg, and I'm like, oh, that's not good. But, like, it can, yes. just, it can just be something, like, totally stupid. She does. Like, do that. Taylor Swift getting married or something ridiculous that's, like, not important, and I will, like, freak out about it, but, yeah. My least favorite quality. Oh, being too sensitive. <laughs> yeah. I am very an empathetic person. So it's like. I if, struggle with that. If it's like some. Somebody from a movie that I like. And they pass. The, they die or something. You're on the floor crying. I'm like on the floor crying. Like. Aww. From. We went to see Don't Worry Darling. And Harry Styles character. Jack. I bawled. <laughs> Yeah, that was, that was a tears. very dramatic moment for Katie. <laughs> tears. That was a very defining moment. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> yeah. Number two. Uh-oh. What is something that makes you feel un unstoppable? Oh, probably, like, a good music playlist. Especially, like, a good Christian playlist about, like, some upbeat Christian songs just get me going. Like, I always start my morning with, like, upbeat Christian music. I think that just makes me feel powerful. Well, I don't listen to Christian music in the mornings. You're not. You're or in the done. afternoons or at night. I listen to Harry Styles. That's my she's unstoppable a, music. And she's probably, a Harry girl. Yeah, I am. So do not mess with me. I'm a Harry Styles <clears throat> fan. She's Love scary. Him. Um, honestly... There's moments where I just have this feeling of just waking up feeling good, and then up. you wake then up. And there's days and where I'm like, "Hey!" <laughs> and there are days where it's nothing. I just hit my elbow. This is so <laughs> okay. Are your pants wet? Oh, that's a shadow. Yeah, that's a shadow. shadow. So I think unstoppable 
if I'm hearing good music or hearing or seeing confident words or yeah. quotes, that's when I'm like, okay. Definitely. What three words would you use to describe yourself? Funny, OCD, and compassionate. I'm compassionate, but like, I don't verbally say that. Is, yeah, like my, I show compassion by like giving gifts or like mm-hmm. doing things like that or like having mm-hmm. you over, like mm-hmm. hanging out, that kind of stuff. Verbally, it's not there. Like I cannot say a kind word to save my life. I would say to describe me, loyal. Hmm. I would tr- I try to be very compassionate. Yeah, you are. Much more than me. Of course, that's not hard to be, but. <laughs> and. Um. I try to be understandable. Yeah. I try I to that. understand things, even if it's just okay. Why did this person do this or this? Like, yeah. yeah. So I would say that. You try and, like, get into people's heads and yes. see, like, what made them do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Would you call yourself brave when it comes to Halloween, like haunted houses and clowns? No. Mm-mm. Um, it depends on the situation. Mm-hmm. Agree. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It really does mm-hmm. because I don't mess with clowns. Mm-mm. Like, I'm going to karate chop their necks if they try and come after me. No, I fall on the floor and cry. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going <laughs> to fall on the ground and cry, but I'm going to scream and then kick somebody. Mm-mm. So, that's that's probably my reaction to most most of my obstacles in life. I scream and karate chop them and cry afterwards. I... Yes and no. It depends on the situation. Yeah. Because, like, with yes. family matters and stuff, you're very brave. Mm-hmm. Like, taking on responsibilities mm-hmm. and that. But if it's something to do with clowns mm-hmm. or clowns jumping out at me mm-hmm. or Halloween 1 and 2. No. <laughs> then we're going to go cry under the bed. <laughs> that we can refuse to stop watching. Yeah. When do you feel the safest? That's difficult to answer, honestly. Honestly, when I'm with my boyfriend or my parents. Like, when I'm with people I love. I think I feel safe when I'm kind of, like, by myself. Yeah. Or if I'm... With someone that I am really, really close to. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite childhood memory? Oh. I love going to Disney. Yeah. Disney World is mine. I haven't been to Disney, so I can't relate to that. But mine was, I didn't have any friends growing up. (laughs) Still don't, but (laughs) shout out to all my amazing friends. I do have great friends now, but elementary school is a struggle. Mm. I looked like a little boy, and people didn't want to be my friend. Um, so, <laughs> I would, I literally looked like a little lad. Um, I would go home. When I got home from school, I would go outside and play, like, on my trampoline, and I had imaginary friends. And I, like, legit thought they were real. So, it was really fun. I just remember, that was always fun, because it was just so innocent, like, that stage in your life where... Or like life problems don't bother you. You just go out and play on your trampoline. You know, I'm gonna go back to the safe part, the safe question. Uh-huh. Honestly, imaginary friends. I but yes. because it's basically you're talking to yourself. Yeah. And you feel safe with yourself. Yeah, that's that's true. Cause like you can make them understand. Yes. You. And you. Basically, you're talk again talking to yourself. Yeah. So it's like, <laughs> no, that it's, sounds weird. They, just, they get it, but so they get it. I will say it. 
It's so much tough. <laughs> it kind of is. Sometimes they're just good people to mm -hmm. rant to. What's your biggest life regret so far? Oh my word. Biggest regret. Um. Oh gosh. I try not to have regrets in life. Let me say mine first. Yeah. My biggest regret so far is not seeing my aunt before she passed away mm -hmm. from cancer. And my uncle and my parents even told me to go see her and I didn't want to. And yeah. it's not because I didn't love her. I adored her. But it's because I cannot do hospitals. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to see someone that I loved yeah. in so much pain. I don't think I can do that either. And the reason why I say I don't do hospitals is when I go into a hospital or something that you can kind of feel the sadness or something. Yeah. I become very, like... Hospitals definitely have... Like, very... Depressing. Tight and... Yeah. Quiet. And it gets just too much and I can't do it. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. That's my biggest regret. Okay. I think mine was letting myself struggle with depression so much in yeah. high school. I feel like I, could, I missed a lot of good opportunities in life. Just, like, good high school memories and stuff because I just let myself stay in my head I constantly. agree with that one, too. Yeah. Focusing on your depression. Yeah. Then, and staying in that and, fo and yeah. focusing, but also, like, using that for an excuse. Yes, I did that a lot, and I look back and regret that. Mm -hmm. Um, What's something you're really bad at? Um, I am really bad at sports. I'm probably the most Same. unathletic I'm person ever. Amen. Yeah. Doesn't come mm -hmm. naturally at all. Mm -mm. No. And what's so funny, my dad played football. My uncle played football. My grandfather, I think, played football. Yeah, both my uncles my did too. My grandmother, she almost went into the Olympics. And but it she her herself and it stopped at me and I went to a different path called ballet yes. singing yes. <laughs> and all me that. too I didn't go to the sports no never no sports to me are getting hurt yeah <laughs> like you have to have a real passion for sports uh -huh. in order to get into mm -hmm. them what do you look for when finding new friends I look for people that I know aren't going to just back out of, like, one fight. You know, like, are going to be there for the long run. Mm -hmm. um, I look for very loyal people. But I look for people that kind of have similar... I know. Good old Cthulhu. That's her nickname. Treat people with kindness. <laughs> <laughs> Not my Harry Styles reference. It's too early for that. It's never too early. Yes. Um. Yeah, just loyal. I look for compassionate, like, understanding people. Um, and people that have similar interests to me, like, just, you know, we can do the same stuff and not get bored, that kind of stuff. I agree with that. Yeah. I think also finding someone that you can go to. Yeah. Or even if they don't understand or not and don't like what you do, they still listen. Yeah. Um, Yeah. Does your family have any big traditions going to Disney? <laughs> yeah. Mine is honestly just like we all celebrate holidays together, like Thanksgiving, Christmas. We always get together for birthdays. Like we hang out a lot together. Mm -hmm. Um, Do you have any characters in your family? Oh, gosh. My dad. My dad. Um, yeah. Both of our dads are quite crazy. Character. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're comedians, for sure. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite nickname someone has given you, and how did you get it? My two favorites are Katula, because she gave it to me, and her mom calls me that, too. 
don't know why. I don't either, honestly. And Dory, because I have epilepsy seizure and short-term memory loss and processing issues. So, if you've ever seen Finding Nemo and Dory is on there, hello. This is her. This is the real life Dory. I'm the real life Dory. Nice yes, to meet you. The celebrity herself is here. Hi. <laughs> oh, gosh. <clears throat> I got named Doodlebug at an early age. And so I love that. Cause Your my mom calls you that. Yeah, my parents have always called me that. And then Lainey, my grandparents and cousins, because my name, you know, my cousins had a really hard time saying my name when they were little, so they always called me Lainey. So that's always special to me because they still call me that. And yeah. I, like, I like having that little, like, personal nickname with somebody. What? No, sorry. She Are you a good gift giver? Yes, she is. I <laughs> am. Gift giving is one of my love languages. Yes, I she is. I love it. I love it. You're good, too, though. Man, I try. You always come up with good, thoughtful gifts. Like, I wouldn't have thought about that little ornament you gave me. Though. I went to Disney, and we went at Disney Springs. There's this Christmas store, and I gave her a zero ornament Nightmare from before Nightmare Christmas. Before Christmas, because that's one of our favorite movies. He does. And he's the cutest. He stays on my little doorknob all the time, mm -hmm. so I can have him year-round. Who do you admire most and why? Harry Styles and Olivia Wilde, because Harry Styles has helped me through so much, through having a hard time with anxiety, depression, all that, listen to his music, and just watching videos mm -hmm. of Harry, you can tell he cares, even if you don't know him, because I've never met him, but you can tell he cares a lot by what he's talked about, or how he acts, and think for Olivia Wilde is, she's a mother too, and she's a director, actress, and that shows that she stays confident, but she can do so many things. Yeah. Without feeling like she's nothing. Because she's, those two are, that are, I admire because of those. Because they're confident, they stay true to themselves, they're determined to do things. And yeah. Yeah. Very definitely. loyal to, you can tell they're very Yeah, loyal. very. They have very good, like, mm -hmm. characteristics. I would say my grandfather I look up to him. He's passed away since since then, but um, he was very godly. Like, he definitely knew how to walk with the Lord and had a good relationship with God. And, like, I do too, but he just had, like, a special connection. And he was just always so kind. Like, you never heard him talk bad about people. Mm -hmm. He just was, like, such a calming person to be around. And, obviously, my girl Bailey Sarian... Bailey, if you see this video and decide to to text me, I would literally like pee Harry my pants. Styles, yeah, Olivia Wild. See our video, please. Um, I know right now, probably looking terrible, but this yeah, is new for us. we do look good most of the time. But we 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 just took a nap, so it's awesome, yeah. Yes. Bailey Sarian, she. Mm -hmm. I don't think without her, I would have never gotten into true crime, and now I'm a criminology major at school. So, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I would say I just really love the way she explains people. She's just she's amazing. I can't describe it. Go check her channel out and subscribe to her right now because she's the queen. <laughs> Have you ever had a spiritual experience? Yeah. I think my biggest one was I dealt with severe depression and anxiety in high school. And I got to such a point where I never knew if I was going to come out of that pit. Mm -hmm. And I just told God, I'm like, I need to see something to know, like, there's, there's a reason for mm -hmm. it. And I had a Bible verse pop up on my phone. It was like the verse of the day. And it said, you don't know what I'm doing now, but someday you will. And ever since then, I've been able to look back at that. And, like, that was really the moment I knew it was worth getting through that. Mm. I agree with you on that one. I yeah. I had the same, but I don't think it was a Bible verse. I think it was more of 
waking up and thinking, okay, I've had this since seventh grade, and now I'm like 20, almost 21. It's time to get off your butt and yeah, find ways to feel more alive. Mm -hmm. And I have gotten like Helene and her mom and my parents, but also I've gotten new friends and that is like a God thing. Yeah. And they've helped a lot. So yeah. He put the right people mm -hmm. in your life at the right time. Mm -hmm. Sonia, Megan, if you shout out, shout out, shout Thomas, out to love you. And this is the first time I've ever said that. Uh oh, <laughs> so, no, big moments are being made right now. If you ever see this, she loves you. It's very sorry. Obvious. Very <laughs> obvious, <laughs> Thomas. I hear about you all the time. It's slightly embarrassed. <laughs> now she's blushing. <sighs> What's the quickest way someone can lose your trust? If they make you feel like you are nothing, yeah. Say bye bye. It's not worth it. Mm -hmm. If they make you cry, if they make you feel negative, if you f see red, you yeah, need to that's get out. a no no. Like if you see red, you need to leave. There's no, no question. And I've been in have friends relationships where I've left because I've gotten hurt so much from them. Yeah, and there was a time where. We had to. We had to. Go, we had ways. to go separate ways, but we came back because we were just. We were both. We were both going through bad times, mm -hmm. and we took it out on each other. Yeah, but now we're now we're better. better. Yeah, I don't. We're about to learn more like new things. From yeah, these questions. I feel like I'm about to open up about something <laughs> personal, but I would say mine is like. Yeah, obviously, if they make you feel worthless, then they're done. Um, that and just, like, not acknowledging acknowledging you. like or your feelings. Yeah, or just not, like, not being appreciative uh -huh. of you. If you give a lot of time and effort into that yeah. relationship and they don't give it back, they're a no-go. Mm -hmm. They're a no. Mm -hmm. Where is one place you always dream of going? Italy. Hawaii. Italy. Hawaii. For sure. But Italy would be amazing, too. They're both I amazing. mean, I have a list. Yeah. And she, she's seen my list. Venmo us cash so we can go to Italy <laughs> and Hawaii. We would love that. <laughs> yeah. Is it easy for you to accept help from people? No. Mm -mm. No. 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 No, no. 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 I try to do it by myself. Yes. And then if I need help, I, I don't ask for it because I don't so, want it. It's so, like... Because I feel like I need to do it by myself. Yeah. I, don't, I need to be responsible for it. And yeah. Like, I need to take care of my own problems. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, like, I don't like admitting I'm wrong. My boyfriend would definitely agree with that. And Oh, my gosh. Her boyfriend would call her out. Yeah. He it's does. quite funny, actually. He does call me out for a lot of stuff. Bless his heart. But, oh, uh, yeah. It's quite funny. It is. It is. It's funny after the fact for me. Because yes. when it actually happens, I get really mad. Yeah. She, I, I don't have a, I, hmm. I make faces, so when her boyfriend's calling her out at the moment, I make these. Like, I agree with her boyfriend face. Not just that, but also if he says something that I don't agree with, I make like. The side eye. The side eye, <laughs> or I get dramatic and use the hand. Yeah, girls always, like, we have eyes that we give each other, and you know what it means. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or we look at each other. Yeah, like, like mm -mm -mm. <laughs> no. You just yeah. know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If money were no object, what's the first thing you would buy? Like, if you didn't have money, what was the first thing you'd buy? Or if they... You could just get something. I think I would buy a trip to Italy. <laughs> She's still on the Italy thing. Or a trip to go see Harry Styles. Or yeah, Harry Styles can, for sure. You know, come just, visit us. Just honestly, come, come see do us. Do a private concert. I'm turning 21. That's so a big deal, Harry. I will be leaving the 18th and come back the 23rd. So anytime then, anytime just time before DM me after, and we'll schedule. Um, I would, I would 
buy a Porsche, like a little, a little mm. 356 Speedster, mm. and I'd get it paid off, you know. And I think that's what I would do. Mm -hmm. Just scoot around town on that little <laughs> thing. <laughs> do you live by a particular, like, lifestyle? Like, what kind of... Like, mottos for my life? Yeah. I do. I always... Um, but a big thing for me is like in the Bible, it says, don't go to bed angry. So like, if you're angry with somebody, I always get it resolved. <laughs> no. Well, that, okay. We have no, had, no, not just two different. People. We have had a moment where I didn't, but like, <laughs> I really try my best to get like mm -hmm. a, a problem fixed before I go to bed at night. Cause I hate waking up in the morning knowing I still mm -hmm. have like a, a thing to, I need to resolve with somebody. So that, and just. Not giving in to peer pressure. Like, if I don't feel right about something that somebody's making me do, then just, I don't do it. My motto is live, laugh, and love. There you go. Stick to those. That's true, yeah. And try to st stay confident and yeah. comfortable. For sure. There you go. Classics. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes, if that doesn't help, I look up quotes. Yeah. Confident quotes or something that helps me, and I actually have a box and I put them in. So, yeah, do that. Yeah, I not? do that too. If you started a business, what would it be? Photography business. Yeah, she's great at photography. Mm -hmm. I'm not. If anybody needs, you know, senior pictures or holiday pictures, birthday pictures taken, hit her up. I would do like clothes and accessories. I think that'd be fun. Like just a little bit of everything, kind of like a boutique kind of vibe. Mm -hmm. That'd be fun. But you can do the jewelry, I can take the pictures. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We should start a business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How would you spend your last day on earth? Oh gosh. Um, I would make sure to go visit all the people I love and spend time with them and I would try my best to fly to Hawaii. <laughs> just in a day. I'd just go out on the beach. That'd yeah. be fine with me. Mm -hmm. I would take everyone I love to Hawaii and we'd have a big like cookout. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What would you do? Um, I just, of course my, you know, try to stay, say hi to my and bye to my family and yeah. tell them how much I love them, but also get like people that I truly care about. Like have a party mm -hmm. and have that dance, like a dance and food and just end it very happily. Yeah. And go to Italy while doing that. Yeah. Because why not? Oh, my eyeballs itching. <laughs> What? I sound like a drunk 50-year-old man. Do you enjoy being somewhere no one else knows you? Yes and no. <laughs> like, by myself where nobody else knows me? Yeah. So, like, at the grocery store or something? I don't know. Probably, like... Like, if I went to a party and I was... Like, I didn't know anybody there. If it's a party, no. I would want to bring yeah. somebody I know or go to a party that I, some, you know. I like know. having a buddy with me. I like mm -hmm. there to be somebody I know and I'm comfortable with if I'm going anywhere. Mm -hmm. I would say if I'm going to the library I tr with my mom. Yeah. I try to go s somewhere where she isn't. Because <laughs> somewhere where she's not in the area. Me. I just, it's, in a way... I feel comfortable sometimes by myself. Yeah. And it's nice to, if you're going with somebody, obviously it's nice, but sometimes when you go somewhere, you just kind of want to separate for a little bit and mm -hmm. then come back and, and you're fine. Yeah, for sure. Love you, Mom. Yes. We do love <laughs> our mom. What is your number one goal in life? To <clears throat> be happy. To yeah. find happiness. Not with just with someone, but just with myself. Yeah. I don't think that and get to the point I want for my career. Like, mm -hmm. like be really skilled at whatever career. Well, I want to be a criminologist, but, mm -hmm. like, be really skilled in every aspect of that. Mm -hmm. How do you hope people describe you? I hope they would describe me as kind and, like, a good listener. Somebody that they could come to and feel comfortable talking to. Mm -hmm. 
I think kind, loyal, um, someone that they can come talk to yeah. about anything. Because I will not judge you or yeah, I would not judge. disown you. I would listen and literally give you a hug. Even if I don't know you, I will We just do not listen. judge up in here. No judgment. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Have you ever been in love? Of course. My little stinky boy. He knows who he is. We're in love. We've been together for two years. We have our moments where we're <laughs> we're still in love, but we don't like each other. Um, but I do. I love him with all my heart. He's perfect. Mm-hmm. What? I'm just You're just listening to me rant or yeah. rave. I mean, I just sit down here a few minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. She obviously is. She mm -hmm. just confessed her love. Yeah. And yeah. And so, yeah. he is actually in Colorado. Going Shout out to Colorado. Shout out to Colorado. Shout out to Thomas if he ever watches this. He better. Hopefully he doesn't because it's a little embarrassing. No. Do you want your own family someday? Yes. Yeah, of course I do. Uh, obviously, I do. Yes. I want two kids. Mm hmm Green. Two boys, preferably, but I'll take either. Boy first, girl second. Yeah. But different deer. <laughs> yeah, no, obviously not the same year. That would be really difficult. Mm -hmm. How do you define beauty in another person? Their heart. Beauty. Yeah. Beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. Um, I think it just really is having a good heart because there's people out there that by society wouldn't be called beautiful, but they're very they are beautiful people. Even if it's not physically, I think being beautiful on the inside is a hundred times more important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, their yeah. heart, and especially that you can tell they're actually mean. Yeah, it. especially like, like mm -hmm. this day and age with so much social media. Like I can't imagine being you know twelve and thirteen at this point in life because social media is just so accessible to everybody. Mm -hmm. And like I can't imagine not knowing myself super well and then just being exposed to like models and influencers and just thinking you needed to be them yeah instead of yourself because you can't change who you are so you just you just better yourself mm -hmm. yeah do you think dreams have deeper meaning yes mm -hmm. definitely because some dreams you have you just know you just know there is something. Yeah. It means something. For it, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially, like, sometimes I'll have dreams where, like, it'll be something in my future. And I don't know. I just feel like it was, like, a little glimpse into yeah. the future. Mm-hmm. Or, like, sometimes... If you've ever had a, a dream where it's kind of like a storybook, you start, mm -hmm. and then it goes to, like, a different chapter. In yeah. a different chapter. Sometimes I yeah, have those. I've had those kind before. of like, okay, what's going on? What yeah. does this mean? Or sometimes I have dreams where is this a warning that something bad is about to happen? Yeah, I've had mm -hmm. those too, where you get like uneasy. Yeah. Do you often give people second chances? Fortunately, yes. Yeah. I did that a lot more than second chances. Yeah. But now I, I try to watch. Yeah. Things. I have kind of like, I wouldn't say a list, but also a list to know what I need for myself. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely like, it really depends on how I ended things with them the first time. Mm -hmm. But if I know, like with us, I knew I had, I was to blame for a lot of what happened. Mm -hmm. So I needed to better myself. So, if I had to better myself, it wouldn't be fair for me not to give you or another mm -hmm. person that chance to better mm -hmm. themselves, too. For sure. But mm -hmm. it just depends on the person in general. Like, just their heart. You can tell people's hearts sometimes and if they actually care enough about you to, to get back with you yeah. or not. So, I think that. Mm -hmm. What are you most grateful in life? I'm <laughs> in my family. <laughs> <laughs> took me a minute to think, but my family, they've gotten me through a lot. I don't know where I would be without them. I think just 
being cared for. Yeah. Because yeah, I've had a hard time with that sort of stuff. Mm hmm So, for example, Thomas. Shout out to Thomas boyfriend. once again. Her boyfriend, guys. He is the most caring person ever. Mm -hmm. Like, if I say something, because I'm pre-diabetic, so if I haven't eaten anything, he'll make sure, have you eaten something? Yeah. Or, how are you doing today? Are you okay? Why are you not okay? Yeah. Like, he'll make sure. He looks you, out for you. You need that kind of person you in do. your life. Because those are the kind of people... It makes you feel better about yourself. Yes, and you have a, like, when he does that, or if I, not just Thomas, if I hear it from Helena or Sonia or Megan or somebody else, yeah, I get a smile on my face, and I feel a little bit better, like, getting better each day. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Where do you go for fresh inspiration? Normally, it just depends. I mean, if it's like, mm -hmm. if it's like personal stuff, like trying to get a fresh start on life, I go to the Bible because there's a lot of good, like, a lot of good scriptures and in, in there of kind of like, you know, God forgives you for everything and mm -hmm. he, he sees you and gets you where you're at. And so for that, you know, obviously the Bible, but like, if it's just something like, you know, clothes or makeup or something like that, I look at. Pinterest mostly. Or Instagram. Yeah. Social media. <laughs> yeah. Think I sh I need to get back in my Bible because I haven't done that. Yeah, I read devotionals. Um, That's my thing. I think yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. On that one. Have you ever experienced deja vu? Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's yes. the creepiest feeling you'll ever feel ever. in your life. Yes. What is something that gives you hope? I think Jesus. we answer. Yeah, I think also we answer that. Yeah. In, yeah. Like the previous answer about yeah. like Thomas and somebody that cares for yeah. you that just makes you feel better. Uh huh. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Which movie could you watch every single day? We definitely know the answer to this question for me is Forrest Gump. That's my comfort movie. I hate that movie. She hates it and I don't understand Please don't it. hate me. I'm sorry. Do yeah. not send judgment. I just hate that movie. It's so stupid to me. It is amazing. It's my comfort movie. It got me. I watched that movie at a very low point in my life and it just, it got me through a lot. So it's just very like sentimental to me for that reason. I watch so many movies over and over again, so I can't really give you an answer. <laughs> Phantom of the Opera. Phantom of the Opera. The Shining. Shining, Hocus Pocus, Nightmare Before Christmas. We have like the oddest the list of movies, like the most Honestly, random movies. Yes. Everyone has the weirdest list mm -hmm. of comfort movies or like movies they love. Describe your perfect day. Hmm. Like it. Okay. My perfect day is wake up, listen to music. Yeah. For some reason, I just dream of receiving roses in the morning. So you just brings you roses. And I don't know why. And then. There's like, these are for um, Caitlin. <laughs> and then going on a picnic or something. And yeah. Then later that night, looking, watching the stars and having a. Like, sitting in the back of a car and that watching movies, too. that kind of thing. That's what I, I imagine. <laughs> my day would be a day off of work, which is actually this Monday for me. So, maybe I'll get to live out my perfect day. Um, <laughs> getting up at a decent time to where I have plenty of daylight left. Getting my coffee. Um, Watching a true crime, like sitting down with breakfast in bed, my coffee, and a good true crime documentary or Law and Order. Love me some Law and Order. Pumpkin spice yes. latte. <laughs> yes. Any coffee. And then just like having a, a lot of energy to, you know, get everything organized mm -hmm. throughout my day, but having enough time to like hang out with friends and family. Just kind of having a nice, mm -hmm. like, laid back day to myself would be amazing. Mm -hmm. On the serious note, 
I agree with her. Yeah, that's a good day right there. <laughs> that is a good day. Um, do you have a favorite memory? When I mm. met Thomas was my favorite oh. memory. I'm not going to lie. Obviously that, when I met my boyfriend, his name's Blake, by the way. Check out his channel. It's BDS Outdoor Services. He does landscaping, and he's absolutely amazing. Um, but when I met him, was amazing. Like, sometimes you just meet people, and you just know they're going to play a big role in your life. And that was definitely how I felt with him. Um, and that, and then, like, I used to watch The Office with my family every evening when I was going through depression and we would all you know get together and eat pizza or something and watch the office and that was very like that just gave me kind of made me see the light at the end of the tunnel and those are really special memories what type of books do you like to read i hate reading any kind of book oh i like reading I hate reading. Days. i couldn't tell you a book diary of a wimpy kid honestly for me not even gonna lie huh Girl, <laughs> we have to get a band aid for her. She's literally bleeding. You're done. We got that fixed. Nobody's bleeding anymore. Ow. Okay. My favorite books to read mm -hmm. are mm -hmm. romance books, supernatural books like werewolves and vampires meeting their you know mate that kind of thing like a romance vampire yeah. book yeah and mafia books that mafia is mafia ro like boss romance books that is quite the selection right there <laughs> i don't know why but it's just i don't know i can't even tell you mm. don't come after me please i just like to read them <laughs> she's not actually a mafia boss no i am not i no so you don't like to read at all? Mm-mm. I hate reading. What's your dream career? Obviously. Criminologist currently cooking that up right now. Photography. Maybe, I will say this. Photography, of course. Maybe write a book. Mm-hmm. Um, and maybe because we both like love to sing yeah so maybe we could do like a singing channel that'd like be fun music channel that would be cool. if you guys want to hear us cover songs let us know yes we do love to sing mm -hmm. would you rather spend a day at a botanical garden or an art museum i think a botanical garden i'd like to see all the different flowers out like in the world art museums sometimes like I love art, but sometimes it's just, there's certain things that are just kind of stupid. Like, like that painting of that banana duct taped to a canvas that was in an art museum or whatever. Like, some of it, I just don't see the art. But with flowers, like, all of them are so intricately designed. I'm biased. So, I, I would say both. Yeah. For different reasons. I love flowers, especially rose, red roses. Hint, hint. <laughs> <laughs> Not her hint into the roses again. Um, just kidding. No, you're not. <laughs> um, but also, I am a history buff. I love history, special royal history. Mm -hmm. So if there is that sort of stuff in an art museum, I don't. I would like to go see it, but not staying all day long. Like, there's people that can stay at art museums all day long. I cannot do no. that. Mm -mm. I can't. No, definitely not. Mm -mm. Couldn't do that at all. What is the wrong, wrong, the worst song, I apologize, in your option, in your opinion, opinion or your, like, what's your option of your favorite or your least favorite? Ooh, my favorite song is I Can Only Imagine by Mercy Me because it was my grandfather's. Oh. My grandfather's favorite song. Um, but my least favorite song is probably <laughs> Y'all 
Don't whisper in my ear, okay? <laughs> Don't influence my answer. Um, oh. honestly, the WAP. I think the WAP is literally stupid. It just any rap music also is just horrible. Like I can't even understand what they're saying. Don't hate. I just don't like it. What's yours? Favorite anything Harry Styles. Mm -hmm. We saw that coming. We all yes. Um and least favorite music? Rap. It's just stupid. It's basically just talking. Singing. Yeah. It's not even singing. It's and just like, talking. You can't You're just saying it fast. Them either. Like, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. That's what rappers sound like. I just, uh, I don't get it. I, I honestly have no clue. Um, if you could get rid of any genre of music, which would it be? Rap. Yeah. <laughs> we just <laughs> literally just covered that. Uh, Rap music needs to go bye-bye. Would you rather have the ability to fly or ability to teleport? I'm going to say teleport because I would love to just, like, snap and be in Hawaii. Honestly, yes. Yeah. Well, to be honest, my... Speaking of abilities, what would you want? Like... Like what What's, superpower? Yeah, what superpower would you actually want other than Tel teleporting? Oh gosh, I would love to be able to breathe underwater. Hmm. That would be really fun to me. If you've ever seen Avengers: Age of Ultron, the rest like Scarlet Witch, her powers seem so cool to me. Mm -hmm. Like she can, you know. Mixed up with her mind. Yeah. Or she just. Cool. She, I would just want her powers. And not be, you know, crazy like how she would make this whole universe. Not that. Yeah, don't turn evil, please. I just, no. Use it for, like, good or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or, um. You, like, you want, like, mind control. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Healing powers. Like that would be cool. Healing abilities. That would be really cool. Mm hmm Um. Do you have any pets? I have a, a dog called Molly. She does. Her dog's precious. Mm -hmm. I have a bucket full of pets. I have a... Do you want to come to a farm? Yeah. We have pigs, chickens, rabbits, dogs, squirrels. cats. I have two pet squirrels. I have a ferret. I have a chinchilla. Um, dogs, cats. Yeah. Basically anything you can think of. Oh, we have a turkey. We have a turkey named Darlene. She is amazing. They don't have cows or horses. No, but like so. basically everything else. Mm -hmm. um, you have a goat? We used to. We you got rid of them because they were literally eating everything. <laughs> like they were chewing up electrical wire. Hmm. And I'm like, what are you doing? What is a skill you always wanted to learn? Learn different languages. Yeah. That would be awesome. I've always wanted to learn how to like draw really well. Yeah. Like those people that do hyper-realistic drawings mm -hmm. are amazing. Yeah. Do you have a favorite TV show? The Office. The Office and Law and Order. I love them both equally. I have two. The Vampire Diaries and the Originals. Klaus Michelson. He, I love him. He is my favorite. No. I absolutely love him. No. I just want to give him the biggest hug and just stick by his side. And I, I love him. He's no. amazing. I'm not a vampire person. I just don't get it. If you are a Twilight fan, she will not watch it just because of Robert Pattinson. I cannot say Robert Pattinson. Please help me convince her no. that it's not that Jasper, or Jasper, he's a good character. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But Klaus Michelson, if you are a Vampire Diaries or original fan, love you. Yes. It's amazing. If no. you haven't seen it, you need to watch it. No. What is your all-time favorite food? I like Italian food. But I also like yeah. steak. <laughs> I like Mexican. Any type of Mexican food. But I love calamari. It's squid. It's Ooh. literally delicious. What do you daydream about? <laughs> Nothing inappropriate. I don't. I'm a clean girl. I was going to say I daydream of having my own family one day. Mm -hmm. And being with my sweet little stinky boy. Mm -hmm. uh, that's my nickname for my boyfriend. He does not actually stink. Um, no. 
I hope not. <laughs> no, he doesn't. No, no inappropriate stuff. Up Can in I here. ask you a question? Where did that name come from? Did you just honestly? I think what happened was when I got my ferret. Ferrets actually stink. Yes, they do. And I just always called her Stinky. That's not her name. Her name's Beasley. I named her after Pam Beasley from the office. But um, I just called her Stinky, and like I kept calling her that so much. I was like, that's a really cute name. And then I just. Well, I just started calling people that, that, like, I care about. Like, I call, I just, I really cared about Stinky, and I just felt like it, it fits his personality really well. Just, like, little Stinky. Like, I just, it's just, like, a cute, like, basically, like, cutie pie or something okay. like that. I just call him Stinky. Mm -hmm. I, did, I agree with you. I daydream about my future and what I'm, what will happen, like, mm -hmm. job, family-wise. Um, Yeah. Yeah. Or, like, my future career. I daydream yeah. about that a lot. Definitely. Do you have a morning routine? Yes, I do. Mm -mm. Wake up around 9-ish, maybe 8, maybe. Now I'm going to go for 9 or 10. Get up, say hello to my family. Well, I don't even say hello. I give them a face, like this tired, don't yeah, talk to me don't face. Yeah, don't talk to me. And then I, you know... Get in the shower, get ready, yeah. and do my face skincare, and then, yeah. I get up. Then I read. Yeah. I don't obviously read. Um, I get up and play on my phone for a little bit. I and do. then, yeah. Instagram. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then I go make coffee, and I work on college, work uh -huh. for like two or three hours, and then I start getting ready for work. That's pretty much what I do. Mm -hmm. But I wake up around 7.30-ish. I try to. Sometimes it's later. I do um, classes Wednesday and Friday online. Mm -hmm. I do Monday through mm -hmm. Friday. What's the most relaxing part of your day? Honestly, when I'm not doing anything. <laughs> yeah, when I get home from work in the evenings, just sitting down on the couch, hanging out. I think at night when I we turn on a movie. Yeah. My mom and I spend the night in the living room. Sometimes we watch a movie. That's fun. Drink some hot tea. That's fun. I need yeah. to do that. It's very nice. Just sitting back at the end of the day. I talk to my boyfriend and I watch a movie. And mm -hmm. that's what we do. Mm -hmm. What are you excited about in the future? The most exciting thing that Right now, getting my degree and then getting married. Hopefully, my little stinky. If you're watching this, stinky, I love you. But, um, <laughs> getting married, getting my degree, those are my two main things right now. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm, I agree. Yeah. What do you think the ultimate theme party would be? You already know my answer, y'all. Yeah. Oh, I think mine would be dressing up as like different decades or dressing up as different characters from the office i think that would be absolutely hysterical i think my ultimate theme party would be harry style harry styles theme you're done or or oh dress up as like do a um Vampire Diaries are original. Yeah. So, different but, characters. Like different characters from that. Mm -hmm. I've uh, never watched. Or do like a, your own version of that character. Like if you were a fan of Damon, do your own version of Damon. Or if you're a fan of Klaus, do your own version of Klaus. That kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And just having a good time. Listen to music, dancing, just, you know, just have fun. Be yourself. If, do the wackiest dance. Do not care what people say. Just have Take a party. charge. I took for my prom. I took charge of Cotton Eye Joe. She did, and she did. I rocked it. People she laughed did. at me, but I was like, "But she I was don't still care. going. She was still dancing." Mm -hmm. My long burgundy dress with my Converse. <laughs> yep, that's how you gotta do it. Uh -huh. I was in heels for homecoming, and I literally almost broke my ankle like fifty three times. So. Mm -hmm. What do you think is the worst job ever? Anything with math. <laughs> yeah. I suck yeah. at math. Anything that involves math yeah. or science. Absolutely <laughs> yeah. atrocious. I think, though, being, like, 
um, working with, like, the sewer mm-hmm. lines and, like, literally oh, doing yeah. crap. I mean, I know, like, in photography or certain things, you'll, math is involved and yeah. science is involved. But, like, my dad, my dad does accounting. Like, mm-hmm. account, he's an accountant. Mm-hmm. He talks and has meetings. Memings. Memings. <laughs> Those good old memings. Meetings. And I'm like, what in the world are you talking about? And it's like, I, I can't. I um, couldn't do it. Absolutely not. Well, do you think we should wrap up or answer another question? What do you want to do? We do one more question. We're going to do one more question for you guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where's the most beautiful place you've ever been in person? The beach. Like, anywhere in Florida. Uh, Panama City. I think, like, Destin, Miramar Beach area. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous out there. Disney. (laughs) Disney is the common answer here. I'm sorry. Yeah. Anything you would like to say before we end? Yeah. Um, so we're going to end our get to know me questions. Next week, we're going to break down the Don't Worry Darling movie. I might post a true crime video in between. Um talking about the history of serial killers so if you guys want to check that out check us out on youtube and spotify at the criminology chronicles Mm -hmm. um subscribe like the video and comment down below what true crime cases you would like us Mm -hmm. to cover and thank you for hanging out with us and if you have any questions about us yeah any questions you want to know or if you want us to talk about Anything. Uh, anything, just let us know. Just let us Again, know. you're sorry to sniff for us. Yep, we're awkward. So, and sorry we look like... We look homeless. Homeless. Next time, we're going to dress up a little bit and look professional. <laughs> yeah, today was not that day, though. No. So, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Ta-ta.